Hey, what's going on, everybody? Nick Sapinero here for another episode of the Divi Crypto Podcast. And this is actually going to be the September 2019 monthly recap update. So September was a pretty awesome month. Obviously, uh, you guys remember at the beginning of the month, we announced our big news, um, which was the last month's update regarding our acquisition of Redivi, which if you guys don't know already, Redivi is a remittances company in Costa Rica that we acquired in order to expand on their operations and leverage their licenses in order to provide more financial services within our own ecosystem here at Divi. So uh, users can expect things like a fiat on an off ramp, debit cards, which you can sign up for right now. Uh, if you go to wallet.diviproject.org, we've already had almost 2000 people sign up just for that. Um, so definitely make sure you're on that list so you're one of the first people to acquire that card. And uh, just a number of other financial services, including giving bank account numbers to people all around the world, which is extremely important when it comes to, obviously, mass adoption. And while we're on the topic of mass adoption, I want to talk about some of the technologies that we've developed this month and are now in testing, uh, primarily the SMS bot. So the SMS bot or the SMS wallet, let's call it, is a way for people to actually send and spend and withdraw uh, Divi from their mobile phones. And you don't need a smartphone, you can actually do it with SMS text. So this is actually a, a major step forward when it comes to adoption in underserved or developing nations where they might not have access to things like a smartphone or computer. So when you go to you know, certain places in India, the Middle East, um, countries in Africa, there are places where right now they don't have a way to manage their finances at all. There's no banks and there's certainly no technology to, to handle that stuff. So um, we're in testing right now. And actually, if you want to test with us, if you're in one of the countries that we're supporting already, which would be the United States, Costa Rica and Australia at the moment, but we're, of course, expanding all the time. Definitely join us on Telegram and let us know that you want to be part of the test. <clears throat> so. What else happened this month? We released a brand new version of Divi Desktop. Actually, two versions came out this month. Ton of new features. Some of the cool stuff you're gonna see in there uh, is an improved staking switch that's a little bit more representative of what's going on when you're staking. You're gonna see a mini mode, so if you wanna run your wallet all the time but you don't want the, the um, sort of weight on your, on your computer, you can run it in this mini mode, which you can find in the settings, and just see all of the important information uh, about your wallet. Tons of UX updates and a lot more coming, of course. What's really important to us is that we get community feedback. So as you are playing around with our wallets, make sure you're, you're going into our Telegram channels and letting us know what you find wrong, what you find right, and what you want to see in the future. This month, we really went hard on the uh, media. So we've d done a ton of crypto media. I was on uh, Joe Blackburn's po podcast, the Bitcoin podcast. Jeff went on Free Talk Live. He went on Wild West Crypto. I was on Bitcoin Ben's show. Um, I was on Crypto Crow's show. Just a ton of amazing video and podcast content came out this week. If you want to check any of that stuff out, you'll be able to find it in the description of this video, or if you're listening on SoundCloud, you can find it in the description of this podcast. Moving forward, um, moving forward, we actually had our first blockchain anniversary this month. So actually on September 27th of 2018 was when our blockchain originally launched. And it's been a crazy year since that day. Um, as you guys might remember, you know, the bear market was really just starting uh, at that time, you know, towards the really the beginning of 2018 and lasting all the way until really for altcoins, it's still going for many of them. And we've improved quite a bit since that time. I mean, we've rebranded the company. We've put out a number of, of updates to our software as well as just improving the business overall. So we've hired a bunch of people. Uh, we have expanded our team to a degree that allows us to execute on multiple projects at once, where before we were kind of just like going really slow, snail's pace, just to get you know one thing out the door and then focusing on another. Um, but it's really all a testament to, to the community that we've built and the community that you guys help to grow all the time, uh, which leads me to my next point which is that we've actually improved upon our community ambassador program, which is called the Divi Crew. 
If you want to join the Divi crew, all you have to do is reach out to us on Telegram and express interest. Now, before we were running the whole Divi crew through uh, an Excel spreadsheet, so you had to go on, and it's this super long file that's like, uh, you know, input the the task, uh, tell you know, tell your username and all of this. Um, it was really cumbersome and really hard to do for mobile. So we've actually just launched a Divi crew website that allows you to not only input your own tasks, but you can also uh, sign up for Divi crew and complete the tasks that the Divi crew uh, is, is meant to complete. If you guys don't know, the Divi crew is basically, like I said, an ambassador program where, where community members perform micro tasks and in, in return they receive uh, a little bit of Divi every week. Um, it's a really great way to earn extra Divi if you're trying to you know, get to that next level of Masternode and it's a great way to support the community. We have about 80 people already running uh, in our Divi crew and we're always looking to expand that. This month we're going to be testing some really incredible technologies, namely the Atomic Swap software. So we actually took Decred, which is another crypto project that created a, an Atomic Swap interface. Um, we took sort of their software and refactored it in order to make it more production ready. So Decred software was a, an amazing step. And this is what I love about, about open source software is the fact that you can actually put something out there and then somebody else can take it, improve upon it, and then it's actually beneficial to the entire ecosystem as a whole. Um, so in this case, you know, we took Decred and we've completely refactored it in Go uh, to make it um, ready for uh, usage in a, in a GUI or in a user interface. And we have all the APIs written and we're actually going to go and move into testing this week for Atomic Swap. So you'll actually be able to very soon swap between Divi Bitcoin, and really any other atomic swap capable uh, blockchain. And this will be fully open source technology that every cryptocurrency is uh, able to access and build their own exchanges on top of. So yeah, atomic swaps are obviously extremely exciting and a major step forward in terms of peer-to-peer -peer trading, of course. We also just made another acquisition, actually, uh, that I wanted to mention for of a company, another Costa Rican entity called FAO. Now, FAO in Spanish means, of course, ugly, and the company that they created was based around this pretty ugly rule that the government in Costa Rica made, which is small businesses have to report basically monthly um, all of their income and in taxes every single month, and they have to uh, basically pay for all of these invoices that they have to generate somehow, and usually another company is, is generating these invoices for them at like a dollar per invoice. It's pretty messed up because a lot of companies and small businesses in Costa Rica aren't, aren't selling a, a high value item, right? They're probably making maybe a dollar on, on each product. So it's really important that they have extremely low cost reporting tools. FAO is basically that. Uh, solution, but it also expands into allowing for users of the FAO app to discover businesses at the cheapest cost. So um, let's say you're looking for milk. Um, it'll actually show all of the all of the customers of FAO on a basically like a Yelp style map that allows you to see, okay, milk is the cheapest at this location and it's the closest one to me. Um, so it saves customers money and it saves the small businesses money. The reason that we acquired them was so that we could build in tax reporting tools and invoicing tools eventually into our wallets, which we know is extremely important to our community. We hear all the time, you know, how do I report my masternode rewards? How do I report my staking rewards? Well, this is a, a fantastic solution for that. And we're really excited to be working with them, not only for the fact that we can help users report their taxes, but because it's somewhat of a social movement in Costa Rica. And it's a, it's a really messed up law, really, that, that they're making, uh, that they're imposing these taxes and things like that on, on these small businesses. So we're really excited about that. Also extremely excited about next month, because we're actually going to be going to Vegas for Vegas Blockchain Week. And if you guys don't know, uh, last year we went to World CryptoCon uh, at the same time last year, uh, the end of October, and we won third place at Token Tank, which is the whole reason that we're able to go back to Vegas. We won a sponsorship, we won a booth, and we're going to be competing in Token Tank Live again, as well as being uh, on some panels and just doing the general networking thing. Now, last year it was just a few of us uh, that went to, to World CryptoCon, but this year, it's going to be pretty much everybody from the team. Jeff is going to be there. Frisco, our video guy, is going to be there. So we're going to be doing a ton of media. Um, a bunch of people from the Divi crew are going to be coming. A bunch of long, long-term investors uh, are going to be coming. So you definitely want to try to make it out for Vegas Blockchain Week. Even if you can't go 
to the conference um, because it can be kind of expensive. There's a ton of stuff going on in Vegas this that week. So you got Litecoin Summit, EOS Alliance. Um, there's some hackathons going on, Coin Agenda. There's just so much stuff. It's kind of like when Consensus comes to New York where there's just all this stuff going on, all these meetups and a lot of free stuff too. And it's just a great way to bring everybody together and network. And of course, I'd love to see as many community members out there as possible so we can grab a burger and, and really just catch up in person because I've actually I've had the, ch the chance to meet quite a few of our community members and it's always a great time and it's really just a, a great way to connect so if you can it's uh, October 28th through the 31st we'll be there in Vegas so try to make it out for that and obviously you know we have a lot to do between now and then because we're actually going to be demoing the mobile application at World CryptoCon and it's a really important step for us and a major milestone in actually releasing the mobile app on time. And if you want to see the mobile app, that'll be your best chance to do so. That's pretty much all I have for this month's update. We have a ton of work to do over the next couple of months, and I really need to get back to doing that. So I will leave you with that for today. As always, please find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at Divi Project. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast and our YouTube channel and find us on Telegram, t.me slash Project. Reach out if you have any questions, and I will see you guys next time.